Hey everyone, I'm Alicia from A Music Blog Yeah, and I'm here with the guys from Fiddler today. How are you? Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. <laughs> so you're here Hi. as part of CMW. You're playing two shows. Just heard mm -hmm. you sound check. You sounded awesome, and we can't wait to cover tonight. Great. So just, how was the Toronto show yesterday? That yeah, was pretty That's great. nutty. Yeah. There was, there was some minor male nudity. Yeah. Um, but someone jumped off the balcony into the crowd. A lot of selfies on stage, selfies. which isn't great. Yeah, you're not a fan of those? I was once at a wave show, and the vocalist was like, if I see that girl, take out her cell phone once more and jump off the stage, I'm going to throw it against the wall. He he didn't like it either. Did he throw it against the wall? No, she didn't do it again. Throw <laughs> I it think, against I think she, the wall. She was pretty scared. He's a very threatening person. Yeah? No, no bite. Well, while you guys all are on tour with each other, what are some things you like to do on the road? Do you sightseers? Do you try to find restaurants? We go to museums. <laughs> We're heavy Yelp users, so we try to find good places to eat based on Yelp reviews. We like to contribute to Yelp reviews and you know just try to do our part for the community. And then since you are here for CMW, uh, if you could curate your own festival, who would you like to be part of that lineup? Uh. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, anyone. Uh, Stooges. Mm, that's a good answer. Um, Tupac. Hologrammed Tupac. Uh, holog uh, hologram <laughs> Tupac. Yeah, not the actual Tupac, the hologram one. I prefer the hologram. <laughs> He's a little more entertaining. Dre. That'd be yeah. Dre and Eminem. Dre and Eminem. Do like Dr. Dre, Eminem, for, like, Tupac, do hologram, and the Stooges. And Slim Marshall Three Mathis. Six Mafia. <laughs> Just the Stooges and a bunch of hip hop. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> a super group of Jimi Hendrix on guitar, John Bonham on drums, Paul McCartney bass, Mick Jagger lead vocals. There you go. Well, being that your debut record was released back in 2013, we must ask I think it's the thing that every fan wants to know when's new music going to be released? Uh, 18. <laughs> I know I heard August some. 13, I heard some new 2018, songs. Yeah. I heard some new songs through soundcheck, so I'm not. I'm not believing uh, that. May something, right? January. Oh, no, this, it'll be coming Very out soon. soon. Okay. Very soon for you. We don't know. All right. And how long have you been working on the new material for? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> really? We tracked it all in the van on the way here. <laughs> Sixteen years. It's been in the making. It's a. <laughs> yeah, it's a playoff Zen arcade. But it's about, um, uh, uh, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I lost it. Well, we look forward to hearing it no matter when it comes out. There you it's go. Mystery. It's a mystery. It's about dumplings. <laughs> well, off of the debut, there's a song on the record called Max Can't Surf. Mm -hmm. So we went into this interview asking fans of yours if they had any questions. So someone wanted to know what's something that Max can do. Like a mean stir fry. He's good at stir fry. Very good. Uh, he can reach things off of tall shelves. He's very long and tall. I got your mac and cheese. I got your, your extra peanut butter up there. I got crackers. Yeah. All the, re all the hard to reach places I got. Um, yeah, he's got it all. All right. Well, I know that back in December you shared a video with fans because you hadn't posted stuff in a while and it's pretty much just saying what you've been up to over the summertime. So I know that one thing said that Elvis was composing avant-garde music inspired by Goosebumps. Fans wanted to know, will they ever be able to hear this? Um, one day. One day? Yeah. <laughs> when, um, when I'm dead, there'll be some unreleased tracks coming out. <laughs> it's his life's work, so he's got a whole lifetime. Yeah, Posthumously, he'll... It'll come out. Post humorously. Humi <laughs> humorously? humorously? Post yeah, all the humor. Hummus, it's hummus. coming out. Post after he eats a bunch of hummus. It's gonna come out. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, what is that word? Like posthumously, it, yeah. posthumous, or something like that. Posthumously. Post hominous. <laughs> Post hominous. Post hominously. <laughs> Most harmoniously. <laughs> Words with Fiddler, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know that you are doing this thing now called Matinee Mondays, where every Monday you are inspired by a film and you share your recreation of it with your fans on Instagram. And I really love the one that you did for Titanic. That was very, <laughs> very, very <laughs> inspirational, guys. So where did this whole idea well, to you. do this come from? Uh, I don't... I think it was 
just being bored one day and it was like I remember it being hot the first one was Castaway and it was just really hot and so our buddy Ryan Baxley who does a lot of our videos he's kind of like our ghost member creative partner he was like yeah he's a ghost ghost he's I mean he's actually a ghost he's not how many people know that but I don't know it was just a random thing to do and just that's something to post and then it kind of was like that was cool let's keep doing it being that it's based on old films if you could have your music featured in any film or tv show which would you like it to be part of fast and furious fast and furious yeah okay that was Easy. the quickest answer <laughs> holy shit <laughs> okay all right and the rest of you also fast and furious let's do it let's do it yeah all right furious seven yeah win best picture next year for sure furious. next year it's gonna win yeah. best picture it's gonna win best picture two years from now Well, just to wrap things up here, we wanted to ask your signature question. So give me something about Fiddler that no one knows yet, or most of your fans wouldn't Our know. Name is pronounced Fiddler. Fiddler. Well, there you go. <laughs> Fiddler. <laughs> All right, well, that wraps everything up. I just want to say a massive thanks to Fiddler for taking the time to have a chat today. We really do appreciate your time and can't wait to cover the show tonight. And for everyone thank watching you. at home, be sure to visit us at www.amusicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews and features with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time.